Hello, I am Larry Ayla of the Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. We are here this afternoon at Regent's Park, London. I have a guest this afternoon, George. Please introduce yourself to our viewers. Hello, everyone, the viewers. I'm the one and only George William Katende from Uganda, East Africa. George, it's nice having you on this program. Nice having you too here. Uh, how will you describe your sexuality, George? I would ex describe my sexuality as a gay man, open and proud. I mean, out and proud. That's open, how I describe myself. Open, open out, and proud, out and, and proud. proud. That's my description. Glad, That's the description of my sexuality. Glad to hear that. Yeah. As an openly gay man from yeah. Uganda. Right. Would you like to share your experience being I'm, a gay man from Uganda? What is it like back home? Being a gay man in Uganda, I would say it's just like living hell on earth. Because in natural sense, you're not allowed to live who you are. Being a gay man in Uganda, that means you have to be discreet. You have to be behind all what we call in hiding. You can't be open as we are here and then we express ourselves. You can't come out and say, I'm out and proud or open and proud. You have to be in hiding or behind the bushes. In other words, I mean, you can't really come out and say who you are. Whereas here we are in the UK, we are allowed, at least we're given a chance to express who we are and then express our sexuality. Whereas in Uganda, you can never ever do that in open. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Yeah. That's the problem. My viewers will be interested right. in understanding you very well or right. clearly. Uh, when you say you have to leave behind the bushes, how will you, I want you to be explicit, ex ex explain to us in simple language. Well, in, in the family, in your community, and right. the country at large, right. how did it affect you? Living in bushes, just like you said, I would want to, um, to put more emphasis on that point, as you said. It's just like being in a simple language, as you said, that you were living in closet. Within your family, you can't open up. Because as soon as you open up, trust me, you're going to be, how do you call it, um, disregarded or disowned. You're going to be disowned. That's the right word. When you're in the community as well, you can't come out and say, <laughs> George Katenda, I'm a gay man. Everyone is just going to look at you like, um, uh, sorry my language, but they're going to look at you as a piece of crap. And if not so, you may get yourself in hot soup. That's the community at large. And in the family, you're going to be disowned. Hmm. That's how the situation is out there. So in other words, for you to be who you are, you have to live in the closet. You can't open up at all much as we can open up here to our families at least we know there is a law to protect us yeah. but back in uganda there is no law to protect you as a gay man that's the point that's such a, such a shame coming from africa i'm telling you well, here we are in the united kingdom right have you been open i'm, I'm, I'm i know you said you're <laughs> out proud and open how have you been open tell how me how have i been open right now as i'm here i'm, I'm open i've got a partner that's how open I am. I go to clubs, I go to pubs, I go to GAY, I go to uh, Voxel Taverns, I enjoy myself. I'm open and out and true. I'm proud. I'm not, I'm not scared of anything because whenever I go to such places, I meet people who have got the same belief like me. So it makes me happy. It makes me feel welcomed. It makes me feel like I've got a family. You know, whereas I can't do it any other, any other, in, in any other place apart yeah. from the UK, you know. So being in Africa or in Uganda, there is no way I could go to any club where there is a huge LGBTQ people like me. No way. Mm. That's totally out of order down there. But here we are accepted as we are. That's why, nevertheless, it's so sad I didn't put on my t-shirt, we exist, but luckily you got it. I got my t-shirt and I always wear it, we exist. I'm glad to hear that. That's how here proud I am Here in the United to Kingdom, you don't have to look over your not, shoulders not as a all. result of your sexuality. Not at all. That's good. Now, um, the coronavirus pandemic mm -hmm. has 
come with his own challenges. Right. The lockdown. A lot of our guests on this channel has mm. uh, shared their experience with us. Right. How did you cope? How did you survive the lockdown? Mm. Luckily, to be honest with you, the way I survived the corona lockdown, luckily, I should, I should say, um, one in a million who are lucky to have a partner who is understanding. So we've been always together. He's, he's, he's been always there for me. So in other words, I didn't feel like we're in a lockdown in particular because whenever you're with a beloved one, you feel you embraced each and every time, each and every moment. Yeah. It's only when you don't have a beloved one or anyone to talk to then that's, that's totally um, a lockdown feel sort of thing. But when you were with your beloved ones, everything just seemed like it's normal to you. That's how I could say. That's how I've been able to go through the lockdown without any sort of, don't get me wrong, I've been missing coming around, coming out, socialize with my people, out and proud people, go to G-A-Y. But beside that, being at home with my partner has been helped me a lot to cope up with the lockdown and the coronavirus. That's why I can still come out and smile. Otherwise, without him, I would have been probably getting myself into a mental institute now <laughs> because it's not easy being at home, just looking at walls, not talking to anybody. You know, but he has been always there for me. You Thank know? you very much, George. You're welcome. As you're aware, we've got subscribers as all over the world. United Kingdom, Europe, Africa, Uganda, Nigeria. Do you have a message for our viewers back home in Uganda, the LGBT community? What message do you have for them? Can you look at the camera and speak your language to them? Bandanga Mwenaje Muli, LGBT members, Abali in Uganda and Abali in Africa, you're not large. Bandanga Mbagamba, Timbeleva Gumu. Isawe jaku tuka, echiku tobu dechi genda buta, tusobolenga tusobolo ukwe taya, tusobolenga tuwali asu watu kubaku mkono, nganafi tusobolo ukwe ya galangaba, ntuwabala labo, nabona, wakusinga yeba tusosula, neba tuisa mwa maso, neba tutuwa langa, echintu echitagasa, neba tutuwa langa, fabata ina musai, gwe gumu nabo, nafi tuliba ntunga bo, nesawe jaku tuka, mbega hili dembeleba gumu, katonda, ea tutonda fena, Atulaba era jatu isambuli chimbuli chizibu chona chona tuja kubela bulu unji. Mba agaliza obula mbulu unji atayo na jembera mbelenga muliba kakamu. Temu mugondela mateka kubanga mitagondi ya mateka atemi nzo tuvira mwe biembi obu kakana ni baba toba ni wako lichichamu. Atenge siche tuagala. Tuagala mbelenga muliba lamu. Tuba sabira buli kabanga buli kade buli kade tuwea tuba sabira obula mbu wa mwebu belenga buli Nga mukama asubulu buka ku wakume mubelenga mulibalamu. Nenga amba kaka santi ya chiku tobu de chidja kubuta kusubuleo kubanga tuetaya. Uruwa katonda ni nsi ya angi. Thank you very much George. You're welcome. That was um, a cute message. Huge. Hopefully when next we call you we will have your attention here on this program. A hundred percent. It's nice having you on the program. Nice having you too. Thank you very much for watching. Keep watching, please comment, share and subscribe to the Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Thank you very much.